All right, welcome to a whole another rendition of Behind the Bench with new Nanooks head coach, third day on the job, <laughs> Mr. Eric Largen. How are you doing, Eric? Doing good, doing good. It's uh, been a pretty busy last 72 hours, so excited today. It's slowed down a little bit. We just got done with player meetings, and guys are wrapping up finals, so catch my breath a little bit, but obviously there's a lot to, a lot to get done going forward. A big week, certainly. I know it's uh, it's kind of interesting when things like this, of course, play out in the public. But talk about the process and how we got to this point. Yeah, I mean, obviously, uh, you know, the the job was offered, you know, before and and uh, you know was turned down. Um, but out of that, um, got offered the opportunity to take over the program, and um, I think out of it, it's uh, the program is the healthiest that it's ever been and. In, a while, in the near future here and um, happy where it's at right now and excited for moving forward with the program. I think a great coach once said great moments are born from great opportunity. I think that's how it went. Yeah, that sounds right. Yeah, sounds sounds right. good. Yeah, so, and of course, uh, Keith Champagne, our vice chancellor, did, did make a pretty, uh, very rousing commitment to the program and to mm -hmm. athletics. What does that mean to have that support, especially given the some of the rumor mill that's been circulating around the last couple of years. Yeah, I think it's big, and I think it's big um, starting here in our community first, uh, just to know that all the support from, you know, the boosters and the fans and the volunteers, that it's paid off with the commitment from administration. And then going externally, just talking about, you know, there's a lot of people that haven't really talked about, um, you know, the program moving forward and the stability of it. It's been more talk on the negative side. And now there's a strong statement from the university that Alaska Nanak Hockey is here to stay. And that's important. It's important for people to get that message and to hear it. Yeah, and for recruiting, of course, you're, you're armed with a full complement of scholarships. Mm -hmm. so you can arm the team as you as you see fit. Um, it sounds like there's a lot more. Uh, financial support from the from the university as well, not just you know verbal, but there's actually action to back that up, which is mm -hmm. of course great to hear as well too. But let's talk a little bit about you. Um, you, you obviously are an Alaska Nanak alumni. Yeah. Uh, played goal here for mm -hmm. us, so along with likes of Chad Johnson, Wiley Rogers, during yeah. the time. And um, tell us a little bit about after what uh, after your first departure after you graduated. Yeah. So I got to get into coaching basically right away after I graduated and started out here with the Fairbanks Ice Dogs and. Working for Coach Josh Halogy and Coach Profit there, um, and after that got to run my own program um, in Minnesota at the Tier 3 level as a head coach for a couple of years, and um, spent some time then in the USHL and um, into Division 3 hockey as a head coach, and um, and then before moving on to back up to Fairbanks for the past two seasons, assistants first under Dallas and then last year under Lance. Yeah, so it's, you've been you've been all over the place already. Mm -hmm. It sounds like here too, and now you're the youngest, officially the youngest head coach in Division One hockey. What does that mean to you? Yeah, I mean, I think uh, you know, being the youngest, I, I mean, it doesn't mean a whole lot to me. I'm, I'm excited. I'm nervous for the job, and um, I don't think that would change whether you know it's my you know I'm 31 or 51 or 41 or anything in between. I mean. I think there's a lot of excitement when you first take over. Um, I think there's a lot of nervousness as well because you want to succeed, you don't want to fail, and um, there's a lot of people that have entrusted you, um, you know, with important pieces and important people, and you want to make sure that you don't let them down. And, uh, so that's my job is to make sure that I take care of the program for the community first, and uh, I, I take big pride in that. Yeah, that's what you should. It's a, this has been a pretty great program to be a part of. Not just you know, well, I'm speaking on my terms, but you know, hearing from everybody around the community, this is this means a lot to Fairbanks. I'm sure it means a lot to you, especially being from Fairbanks. Yeah, no, I mean it's, it means everything, and it's a uh, it's a dream job for me. It's uh, uh, it's quite an honor to be um, at the helm of this program, and I hope I uh, I hope I do a good job. I really do. Yeah, so coming to this next season, obviously big challenges lay ahead. You're going to see St. Cloud State again. Mm -hmm. um, someone who you put right on the rails to make, give them a run for their money in St. Cloud. Now they're coming here this next year. What's the schedule look like for us next year in your first season? Yeah, so we start on the road against Arizona State the first weekend in October, and then we come back home and we'll play St. Cloud. Then we'll have a home-and-home -home, uh, start of the Governor's Cup that third weekend of October, and then our first WCHA series will be on the road uh, against Minnesota State and Cato. So it's, uh, it's a fun October. Uh, it's a lot of good tests, but uh, the guys are excited for it and be a, be a fun opening. That's quite the gauntlet. Arizona State, of course, has, uh, has kind of had some ups and downs. We, we've seen them their first year. I think that we, we were actually their first win. I'm, 
unfortunately as it is. <laughs> uh, but it sounds like we'll have a chance for some restitution coming up here. And then, of course, uh, St. Cloud State, one of the top teams in the country, uh, going to the playoffs last year. And, and then, you know, hey, the battle of new head coaches in the Alaska programs uh, right there before the WCHU season kicks off before taking on Mankato. So be a lot to be a lot on the line for your first month there, Coach. Yeah, no, it'll be fun. It'll be fun. It's, uh, it's nice to get some good weather down in Arizona, too. You know, you can't beat that. But playing some really quality opponents and, um, you know, the in-state rivalry and, um, you know, WCHA regular season champions, I mean, it's uh, – it's a good test for the first month, that's for sure. And um, I, like I said before, I think the guys are already looking forward to it and excited. Yeah, I might have to pack the flip flops for that Arizona State <laughs> trip next season. That sounds maybe the that golf clubs too. Hey, yeah, maybe make a week out of it. Um, so tell us a little bit about uh, Eric Largen brand hockey. Um, a lot of people have, have complimented you on your great hockey mind. Mm -hmm. have, you, have you seen some of that um, and some changes in some systems in the last couple of years as assistant coach? But now that you're given full reins to the program, what do you hope to put your stamp on the brand of Hockey. Yeah, I mean, we're going to play a fast brand of hockey. We're going to, you know, think quick and uh, skate quick, and um, we're going to be tenacious and a hard-working group, and I think we're going to, you know, defend and attack with numbers all the time, and um, it's going to be a group mentality on the ice, so it's going to be, you know, quick to swarm, quick to get the puck back, and quick to transition, and, and then we're going to attack with speed and numbers, so, um, you know, use our strengths as a team. I, I think we're a smart, skilled, good skating hockey club, and uh, we're going to be a little bit young on the back end, so we're going to help those guys out by making sure that uh, we're protecting them with a group mentality from the defensive zone out. So I think it'll be an exciting brand of hockey. You know, we'll uh, let the fans and everyone else decide that, but the main focus is on winning hockey games and making sure that uh, we're doing what's necessary to do that, and um, it doesn't really matter what, uh, I guess, style or brand, we're going to find ways to be successful and win hockey games. Hey, I think the community and all of us here around are looking forward to having you at the helm. We're all behind you. Thanks for your time. Let's go next. Thanks yeah, for your time. thank you very much. Yeah, congratulations, sir. Thank you. Yeah.